Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about three tape measure secrets that you probably didn't know. In this video, I will be outlining three specific features of a tape measure that are pretty cool in my opinion and are not known by the majority of people that use a tape measure. Alright, let's get right to it. The first tape measure secret that I want to talk to you about is this little hole right here. So if you take a look at the end right here on this metal piece, there's a little hole. Now many people that use a tape measure don't know what this hole is used for or the reason that this hole is there. Now the reason for this hole is to allow you to hold the tape measure in place using a small nail for when you are measuring something yourself. So let's say that you're measuring something yourself and you want the tape measure to stay in a specific place. That can be pretty hard if you are measuring something that is long because this part of the tape measure may move around when you are holding this part of the tape measure far away from this part. But if you actually just put this on, uh, put this up against something, if you hook it on something and you just put a little nail in through that hole right there, if you just tap a little nail in place, it will hold the tape measure in place. So that is the reason for this hole right here. It is for um, if you're measuring something yourself, you can put a nail in through there and it will hold the tape measure in place. The second tape measure secret that I want to talk about is this serrated edge right here. So if you take a look at the end uh, on this piece of metal, you can see that it's not a straight flat piece of metal. It sort of has this little serrated part on the end. Now with some tape measures, it will be even more serrated. Now the reason behind this is so you can make a mark on the material that you are measuring okay so let's say that you're measuring something and you know what, what the length is you know what the measurement is um, and you are on the spot with this metal piece but you don't have a pencil or a marker handy you can actually take this metal piece and just scrape it up you can just scratch it against the material and because it has this little uh, serrated part to it and like I said with some tape measures it's even more serrated um, that will leave a mark on the material so it's basically to mark a material if you don't have a pencil or a marker handy the third tape measure secret that I want to talk about is the movement of the metal piece. As you can see, this metal piece moves and it moves for a specific reason. The reason is to give you an accurate measurement um, regardless of whether you are butting the tape measure up against something or hooking it onto something. So when you butt the tape measure up against something, okay, you can see that the metal piece is actually included in the measurement. But the metal piece has a specific thickness to it. So when you hook it onto something, when you hook the tape measure onto something, the metal piece is no longer included in the measurement. It's no longer included, but what happens is the metal piece moves out just as you can see right there. So that basically uh, makes up for the, the thickness of the metal piece that is now missing on the hooking part of the tape measure as opposed to the budding part of the tape measure. So it's just to make sure that you get, you get a consistent measurement using the tape measure no matter whether you are butting it up against something or hooking it onto something. And that's basically it. In this video, I have outlined three tape measure secrets that you probably didn't know. Just as I said before, these little tape measure secrets are pretty cool in my opinion. They are good to know if you are using a tape measure. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.